How to use subway stop method to teach multiplication with self-made props. Lesson two: Use non-math fact to derive on non-math facts. It's 3 p.m. The class is over. Your parents are waiting to pick you up to see a baseball game. Now, let's move your subway train from school to the ballpark. Find the numbers shown on the stop at the ballpark. What do you find? Write down 67 times 7 on your answer sheet. In order to get to the ballpark, you need to find out the answers of 67 times 7. Now, use what you have learned earlier to break down the number 7 to get the answers. What sums can make up 7? What difference can make up 7? Now, try to multiply these new numbers by 67. Keep in mind, there are a few answers not shown on the track, such as 67 times 6, 67 times 8, 67 times 10. But don't worry, you can still use what you can find on the track to solve the problem. Use question marks to replace those unknown numbers. Find the answers you need on the subway track. Check the answers to see if your answers are all the same. Here we go. 67 times 7 equals 469. Good job! Now you can enjoy the basketball game with your parents for the rest of your evening.